I'm Jay from Calibra's Data Office. Today, I want to talk to you about Calibra's Data Intelligence Cloud. We often say Calibra is a single system of engagement for all of your data. Now, when I say data, I mean data in the broadest sense of the word, including reference and metadata. Think of metrics, reports, APIs, systems, policies, and even business processes that produce or consume data. Now, the beauty of this platform is that it ensures all of your users have an easy way to find, understand, trust, and access data. But how do you get started? Well, here are seven steps to help you get going. One, start with the data. What's data intelligence without data? Leverage the Calibra Data Catalog to automatically profile and classify your enterprise data. Wherever that data lives, databases, data lakes, or data warehouses, whether on the cloud or on-premise. Two, you'll then want to organize the data, and you'll do that with data communities. This can be by department, line of business, or functional team. However your organization organizes work and accountability. And for that, you'll establish community owners. Communities make it easy for people to navigate through the platform, find the data, and will help create a sense of belonging for users. An important and related side note here. We find it's typical in many organizations that data is thought of as just an asset, and IT and data offices are viewed as the owners of it, and who are really the central teams performing analytics as a service provider to the enterprise. We believe data is more than an asset. It's a true product that can be converted to value. And that also means establishing business ownership of data, where that strategy and ROI come together with subject matter expertise. Okay, three, next, back to those communities. There, the data owners should explain and define their data, not just the tables and columns, but also the related business terms, metrics, and KPIs. These objects, we call these assets, are typically organized into business glossaries and data dictionaries. I definitely recommend starting with the topics that are most important to the business. Four, those steps then enable you and your users to have some fun with it. Linking everything together builds your knowledge graph and also known as a metadata graph. By linking or relating these assets together, for example, a data set to a KPI to a report, now enables your users to see what we call the lineage diagram. That visualizes where the data in your dashboards actually came from, and what the data means, and who's responsible for it. Speaking of which, here's five. Leverage the Calibra Trusted Business Reporting Solution on the marketplace, which comes with workflows for those owners to certify their reports, KPIs, and data sets. This helps them foster trust in their data. Six, easy to navigate dashboards or landing pages right in your platform for your company's business processes are the most effective way for everyone to better understand and take action on data. Here's a pro tip. Use the dashboard design kit on the marketplace to help you build compelling dashboards. Finally, seven, promote the value of this to your users and be sure to schedule enablement, office hours, and new employee onboarding sessions to get folks excited about what you've built and implemented. Better yet, invite all of those community and data owners to these sessions so that they can show off the value that they've created. Those are my seven tips to get going with Calibra. I hope these have been useful. For more information, be sure to visit Calibra.com.